Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Julie Brown. She's one of the Warren County 4-H agents here. Good morning, Julie. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Julie, this summer is it, full on. <laughs> it is. We are so excited. You know, this summer we're going to camp, we're doing teen conference, and towards the end of the summer we have county fair, uh, which, you know, kids missed out on last year. Or, you know, everybody missed out on the county fair last year. So yeah. this year we are going to have the county fair at Lampkin Park, at the JC Pavilion, so we're so excited about that. Absolutely, and you know, kids are out of school, and you know, we still want to maybe continue some of those life skill learning yes. lessons, and there's so many opportunities to be able to enter into the fair. So, um, the fair is open to any youth in Warren County from 5 to 18 years old. So, um, I prefer if you be a 4-H member, which is just calling the Warren County Extension Office, and we're free to get enrolled. Um, we can give you a booklet that will have all of the fair projects in there, information about about them recipes for our foods exhibits and things like that but also if you contact me we're doing some food challenges some photography challenges and some project kits that kids can pick up here at the office throughout the summer oh fun so um contact me um as i said julie brown here at the extension office and our fair actually starts or the 4-h exhibits are entered on july the 19th from 8 30 to 10 30 that morning at the jc pavilion okay now julie when, and when we talk about 4-H fair exhibits. For somebody who might not have been involved with 4-H or the fair, that's anything. You mentioned foods. You mentioned there's horticulture, geology, photography. Arts and crafts. We have home environment. We have needlework, just like this piece right here. Um, sewing. So some of the things the kids may have done in school in arts class over the year, over the um, school year, is probably a project that they can enter in the fair. Um, the baking, you know, they can make muffins, they can make brownies, those types of things. We have it's recipes that they need include um, if they are into rock collecting and geology and that kind of thing, we can help you out, give you some resources. Or insects. Or even. insects as well, <laughs> yes. Horticulture, you know, if you're in the garden in the backyard, you know, a tomato can be entered as a project for the fair. Or if your kids have, you know, helped you put together a flower basket or things like that. All of that stuff can be entered in the fair that you may already have at home that you don't realize there are fair exhibits. Absolutely. And to, you mentioned that you bring them to the fairgrounds and enter them, but there's no entry fee. You don't have to no. pay to enter. It's actually um, the JCs pay you to enter. Oh, wow. So that's always good for the kids. So there's premium money, so the kids will enter um, that morning on the 19th, and then I'll bring in judges that afternoon. We'll get everything judged, and we'll get everything displayed, and then it'll be on exhibit for all of anyone that comes to the fair throughout the week of July the 19th that they can see. Um, they'll get blue ribbons, red ribbons, white ribbons, and the ones that get champion ribbons are eligible to go into the state fair in August. And so we will be having a state fair again <laughs> this year as well. So um, then those exhibits will take, I will take personally to the state fair and get those entered for the kids um, to be able to participate in the state fair as well. So, you know, that's the fun part of doing things at home. But also if you come to the fair at night, we also have our livestock shows going on as yeah. well. And so you may not you may be interested in our livestock program, so that's a perfect way to come is to see the kids exhibiting their animals. Um, it's different every night. We On Monday night, we have the beef show starting at 6 o'clock, and then we have our goat and sheep show um, on Tuesday night starting at 5 o'clock. We have an alpaca show, uh, which is a little different, uh, but we've now had our alpaca club, I think, probably five or six years, and they start at 6 o'clock, so it's fun seeing the kids with those. We're, and they have, like, a little obstacle course, they so do it's have kind an of obstacle. fun. Yeah, it is kind of fun watching them lead their... Um, Leave their alpacas through the obstacle course and also showmanship as well. And then we have our dairy show on Thursday at 10 a.m. And then we have our poultry show, which is also a fun show as watch at 6 o'clock on Thursday night as well. And there's a lot of people that are into backyard chickens right now and even some of the chicken exhibition breeds. Yes. So that might be a good educational opportunity to have some fun and see the kids and, and show their animals. And, you know, and if you have more questions about, you know, getting kids involved in livestock, um, at this point it's a little too late to be in the livestock club. But if you have questions, you know, just contact the Warren County Extension Office. Actually, contact my coworker, um, Janet Turley, and she can give you more information about the livestock shows. All right. So, Julie, I know parents are probably at home. They're fired up about getting their kids involved. How would they just need to call the office, get the project information, yes. or is it available online? It is online. Our project book is online, but it's about 50 pages long. So if you are a person that likes to have, you know, a hard copy, call me. We can even mail it to you. You can drop by the office, pick it up either way. Um, but it is online for you to look at, or we can mail you one as well. If you have questions, you know, feel free to contact me here at the Extension Office, and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. All right. That'll be great, because there was one art project, and I was like, Julie, I have no idea how to do this art. So she gave me a book about it. So <laughs> she has all these resources available 
available for you and your family to be able to have some fun this summer, yes. maybe even win some prize yes. money and be a part of the fair. So thanks, Julie, for visiting Thank with you. us today. If you have any questions about the Soki Fair, make sure to contact the Warren County Extension Office or contact your local Extension Office to find out more about your fair in your county. Thanks for watching and have a great day.